Hi YouTube, welcome to ME Academy 64-bit Linux assembly language tutorial series. Yeah, I know it's a mouthful. Now, in the previous tutorial, what I did was that I showed you guys how to add two numbers using the registers. Now, in this tutorial, I will show you guys how to add three or more numbers using the registers. And in the next tutorial, I will talk about memory variables. So, and for this one, let's get started. Now, let me open the terminal and let's go to the desktop because this is where my file was. So this is the file that I created in the previous tutorial, which was add.nasm. So let's open it. Now this is the code from the previous tutorial. The first thing that I did was that uh, I added 10 into the RAX register. Then I added 5 into the RBX register. And then I added RBX into the RAX register. So whatever the contents of the RBX was, I added it into the RAX register. So previously it had 5 and I had I added 5 to 10, so which was 15. And uh, we did a GDB analysis of it, and we saw that it was 15. Now, what I want to do next is that I want to add, uh, let's say, more numbers. So now what I would have to do is that, let's say, I want to add 20 to it as well. So the first thing that we do is we say move RBX and then 20. So this line, it takes 20 and it, put it puts it into the RBX register. Now what we can say, add racks RBX. So it takes RBX and puts it into the RAX register. Now previously, RAX register had 15. Now we are adding this 20 into the RBX register. So let's start from the beginning once again. The first thing that I did was I put 10 into the racks register, then I put five into the RBX register, then I take RBX, and I put it into the RAX register. So five plus 10 is 15. Then I put 20 into the RBX register and then I take the contents of the RBX register and add it to the RAX. So 50 plus 20, that is 35. So the contents of it is now 35. Now let's say we want to add another number. So again, we can use say move RBX 35. So this time you want to add 35 and then I can say add RAX RBX. So what it does is it takes the RBX and again puts it into the RAX. So this is the destination and this is the source. So the source is RBX and the destination is RAX. So it takes RBX and puts it into the RAX register. So 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 plus 20 is 35 and 35, 35 is 70. So now the RAX register should hold 70. And at the end, this is my exit syscall. So if you haven't watched my previous tutorial, watch it, then it will make sense to you because I've explained it in that in that one. So let me save it in here. And so this is my file. Now what we have to do is we have to create an object file of it. So let's type in nasm fill 64 add .nasm dash o and then add o. Now I've explained this uh, command in the previous tutorial. If you don't know what it does, you can watch it as well. And then we have to create uh, so this now we have the NASM file and also the object file, which is add.o. So let's make an executable of this object file. We use the LD tool for that. So add.o and then add. Now we can see that there is our executable, which is in green. And let's execute it. So you can see that we don't get any errors or anything like that. So now let's do a GDB analysis of it. So let's do it. GDB QTUI. By the way, for this tutorial series, I will be using the GDB to analyze the uh, code that I will be typing so that you can understand it in detail and in a better way. Now, the first thing we do is we set our disassembly flavor, which is Intel. Then we say the breakpoint, which is the start. So this is where we, uh, we want to start our debugging. This is the label underscore start. So this is where our program starts. So we want to debug from the start. Then we type in run to run it. And then we type in layout asm to show our assembly code and also layout rich to show my registers. Now the first instruction is move EAX0. Sorry, move EAX0XA. So A in hexadecimal is 10. So the first thing that we did previously was we added 10 to the RAX register. So let me open that as well. So let's do cat and then add dot nasm. So in here the first instruction was add move or a move 10 sorry move or 10 so it takes 10 and puts it into the rax register 
then it takes 5 and puts it into the RBX register and then it takes RBX and puts it into the RAX register so in here we can see that the first thing it does is that it takes 10 which in hexadecimal is A it puts it into the EX register currently you can see that the RAX register there is nothing at it's 0 so in, to uh, move to the next instruction we have to type in a step I and then press enter so what it does is it executes this instruction so now you can see that the RAX register holds 10 so this is the 10 that we um, moved into that register and this is the hexadecimal value of it which is 0xA now this what it does is uh, it takes 5 and puts it into the RBX register so 0x5 EBX so the RBX register currently we can see that it's empty it's 0 so if we execute it so let's press enter so that it would execute this instruction now you can see that the RBX register it has 5 in it this instruction what it does is that it takes contents of the RBX and puts it into the RAX register so add RAX RBX the first register is the destination the second one is the source so it takes the RBX and puts it into the RAX so let's execute it and move to the next instruction now you can see that there is 15 so 10 plus 5 is 15 now my RAX register holds 15 so 10 plus 5 is 15 and 15 in hexadecimal is 0xf in here now what we do next is that you're saying move EBX 14 so what we did was we said move 20 move RBX 20 this is this instruction in here so move RBX 20 and then we are saying add RBX into RBX and then we are saying move 35 into the RBX and then add RBX RAX so let me minimize this in here and open so let's move to the next instruction which is this one is moving 20 into the RBX register so let me press enter now you can see that the RBX register now holds 20 previously it held 5 and now it's 15 this instruction it takes RBX and puts it into the REX so REX currently has 15 this instruction adds RBX into RAX RBX we can see as 20 so it takes 20 and puts it into the REX register so 20 plus 15 it should be 35 so when you press enter you can see that it has 35 now and this is the uh, hexadecimal equivalent of it then we move the uh, 0x23 into EBX so 0x23 is 35 and hex or hexadecimal now you can see that RBX currently has 20 when we execute this instruction it should hold 35 so let me press enter now you can see that the RBX register has 35 now the next instruction it takes RBX and it adds it to the RAX so RAX currently has 35 and this has 35 so 35 plus 35 is 70 now if I press enter you can see that the RAX register has 70 in it now this is how you can add more numbers if you want all you have to do is add then move the data into one register and add it to the another register so far we have used only the RAX and RBX registers so I have moved data into RBX and I've added uh, that to the RAX register. So now you can see that the RAX register has 70 and the hexadecimal equivalent of it is 0x46. Now this is it for this tutorial guys. If you have any questions, suggestions or recommendations, feel free to put it in the comment section below. And uh, in the next tutorial, I will cover memory variables. So I'll see you guys in, the, in that one.